Hey everybody, it's called Bromical. Welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we were investigating on day two about where this mysterious man could be and who he was. So we managed to get that information from Mr. Grossberg, thankfully, because we can also have gotten this information a different way, which I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so now that we saw that little clip right there, I just gotta go ahead and go to Blue Corp right now. So, let us head there this instant. September 7, Blue Corp Inc. CEO's office. I can't believe I got access to this super fast, really. What's with the surreal decor? Yeah, well, now that I'm looking at it, look, look at those statues, so weird. And look at that painting right there, that looks kind of familiar. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, Wright. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Wright, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have an intimidated you with my giant, giantesque vocabulary. What is it? This what is this guy's problem? I'm Reed White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion officer official. My business dealing bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. What a fruit! What a fruitcake! Hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Jipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Man, he is like, wow. He is very, uh, ig well, arrogant really. So, before we do anything, um, I guess we can talk to him for now. Actually, before we do talk, I want to check that painting first real quickly in case it is something new here. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridic ridiculosity. I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right, there is, there is a bona fide original worth 5 million for sure. Hmm. Yeah. That was... Uh, Mr. Grossberg's painting So I don't know what he did to get that painting, but he did something alright So let's talk 
talk to him about Miss May, of course, so let's see. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct, she was my secretariat. Secretariat? What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineff ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. It would seem so. So, night of the murder, where were you that night? On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. S still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember, remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. It's, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police? The courts? To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusements. Okay... This guy is very suspicious. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, read, uh, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, name it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Um, uh, well, I guess it makes sense, but still. You look more like a pink type of guy. Oh well, so about that painting over there. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I seen it before. I seen it in Mr. Grossberg's office for sure. You know, I actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday actually. Your point being? My point is simple, uh, rather. My question, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Uh oh. Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh. A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing, sich, sipu, nada. Just like that, sorry, excuse me for an, an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Uh, oh, oof, what the? Uh, uh, he, he punched me. What? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition, the police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand, it is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg? Yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Oh. Well, yeah, that's all that we have to do here, so I might as well take my leave. I'm pretty sure there's different cutscenes depending on how you got. 
to his office, so yeah. So let's go back to Grossberg. Huh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <coughs> Jumping Jehoshaphats! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, I'm not seeing that out yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something really bothering him, that much is clear. So let's go talk to Grossberg. Why not? So wait. Uh wait, do I have to do this again? Today's trial and your refusal again? Let me see. Uh I, I don't think there's something new here, but No, there's nothing new at all. Let's see. Uh No, I think it's the same thing. Same cutscene, so. Let's go ahead and skip that as well, the refusal as well, and skip right to Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Uh... Okay, I think I can choose whichever one from different information, so... Let's go with the big painting first. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red's White office. So, you notice? I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Um, <laughs> your lovers, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, he's blackmailing you. I'm pretty sure it's this. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well, this may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so, so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years? It, wow, you've been blackmailed blackmail for 15 years. What the heck? That's insane. All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs? As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red, Red White would be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutor, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the way of many years. So that's why no one can take him down. Huh. So what is the DL6 incident? What is the DL6, DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye? Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the, re at the request of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, 
clear her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Huh, so that's what happened most likely. So, why are you being blackmailed, Mr. Grossberg? But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense, the police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It, it is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Huh. So, I guess that's everything we can do here, so... Let's go to the office then, see if we can find that uh, information, I guess. It's funny, look at, at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there will be clues. Maybe I should have a l another look? I guess so. So let's go check some of this uh, cabinets, I guess, or filing, uh, or... I don't know what it's called at all. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Oh man, don't don't be like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, all the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Um, I guess we can go through file uh, A through C or... Actually, let's go in order, I guess. Let's see. If there's a record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F, Misty Faye. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Um, sure. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only this words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the one who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP, that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and caution. His name is... The record stops there. Stops there. So, Mia knew Grossberg. So she knew Grossberg before she studied with him. Huh. Let's go again, I guess. Wait, no. I got out by accident. Okay, let's go again. This time we're gonna go through file. Um, let's see. Uh, J through S. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skip some of this. Uh, sure. Ah. Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here at the end is S. Suicide. Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. They're politicians, policemen. Oh, there's something there. We found something. There's writing on most of this in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait. I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... Huh. We can use this newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Okay, uh... Other TFA newspaper clipping added to the court record. Okay, so we found a clue right there, so... I'm gonna have to check that in a bit. Actually, let's check that right now a moment. Let's see. Where is it? Newspaper clipping. Okay, article about politician suicide. The word white is written in pen at the top. 
Okay, that's not mostly too much of an evidence right there, but we, we got some sort of lead as well. So let's see, file T through C. T, U, I know, W, white. Oh, we found something again. The entire W section is missing. What? Was it taken? I guess so. Huh. Let's see. Uh. Okay, so we didn't get much at all, really. We only got that newspaper. Huh. That's really not really uh, assures me that we're gonna be pretty solid for the case. So I guess you can go to Grossberg, I guess, again. Let's see, uh... There's nothing here. Maybe I can show this to Grossberg. It's not much, but it should be something. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you want to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad, not a bad idea. So that's one thing to do, so... Huh. What about this? Can you say something about this? Uh, no, I don't think he can say anything about that, so... I guess there's not much to do. Um, Gatewater Hotel, there's nothing there, I, I assume. Nope. There's no point to going back to Blue Corp since, well, there's nothing we can do there. Let's go to the detention center then. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. So... What do I do? Huh. I guess I do have to go to Blue Corp. Let's see. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent? Um... I don't know, uh... Black, okay. We got something here. Black male. Let's see. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight, a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Well, yes. There's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I just, you need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. So I guess I'm gonna have to show him this thing. But this is my only uh, evidence here, so why am I gonna show this to him? Let's see. If this is what I need to do, of course. So let's go, to, go ahead and do this here. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Oh wait, does this have any impact? Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word, white. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmail him. I'm literally gonna get myself in a lot of trouble for this, but let's see. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. I've got a phone here. Secretary office, hello? Mr. Ron will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. 
Wait a second, Mr. White. Uh, he's wrong, right? You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappear. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Uh-oh. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Uh-oh. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, that you? Why are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite too. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White? This isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any word will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyer association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Oh god. Detective Gumps, you're reporting, sir. Ah, Butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. But was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. But what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Oh, God. September 8, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center. So now I am in the detention center. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edge were included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refuse. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Wait a moment. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. Ha, no, I'm afraid we switched places, yeah. What, you mean, you... Yep, I'm being accused of this murder now. I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man, man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Uh, well, she cannot defend me, uh, help me break out of here. <laughs> I guess he can cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like, a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh. I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. <laughs> wait, no, I was, I was kidding. But wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? 
I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay. Then, come to the court tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of 3 days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. To be continued. I'll see you guys next time.